Ecco pari, ci vuol suonare. Let's look at another Italian pen made by Montegrappa. It is the teacher's pen. I may keep singing. That's a really good song. And that, once you hear that, stuck in your head forever. I think it was, I want to say it was using one of the Godfather movies. It's very funny because the guy imitates all kinds of instruments. Look it up. E compari. We continue. Monte Grappa. The teacher's pen. Guess what? I'm a college instructor in everyday life. So the teacher's pen sounded like an amazing match. I'm going to cover the parts of the pen. I'll do a writing sample. I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like about it. But before I do that, I thank Joost Applebaum for lending me this pen. I appreciate it. Does that, that, that sound weird? No, I, I appreciate it. I always do, because this allows me to, to review a lot of pens. So, thank you, Joost. Let's get started. Na 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 na. I'll stop now. The Montegrappa Teacher's Pen comes in this little box, which you can... I, I, I am not sure, I have the feeling this is, this outer sleeve is supposed to kind of represent a blackboard because you know some of those blackboards have that somewhat greenish uh, tint to it. I think that's what they may have tried to go for there, but I'm not 100% sure. There we have the best teacher in the world in an apple. A little sleeve for your pen. You have two cartridges, labeled Monte Grappa, and you have a little pin, number one on Apple. This, I admit, this is kind of cute. And I may have to look for a little Apple lapel pin, because, oddly enough, I have a feeling I would wear that. Now, then of course, we have the real pen. I'm just putting the accoutrement out of the way. Here we go. And then we have the Pilot Parallel. Let me zoom in for you. Whoop! Size comparison. So, reasonably sized pen, not huge, not tiny. I think it's a pretty nice average pen size. Dot dot dot. And let's go over the parts of this pen and then see what we have. So, finial, nothing really. It's, it's the same uh, material as the rest of the cap, which, which probably is my favorite material on this pen. It's a very nice warm material that reminds me of pipes, you know, t tobacco pipes. A very dark, deep, uh, looks like wood, but it's plastic. It says Montegrappa. And that was not a that was not a like a, a, a evaluative comment. It, it it is it isn't like fully plastic pen. Uh, nice interesting clip, slight curvature to it, and a little wheel. And then we have this green barrel, which again I'm pretty sure is supposed to be um, a blackboard. I'll come back to the color of this, but it has a nice quote on it. One child, one teacher, one book, and one pen can change the world, which uh, I think is nice. Uh, that is a, um, a quote from uh, Malala, that uh, lady who's a superb human rights activist and very much in favor of education for females in some country where that is not a logical option. So I, I, I think that's a very good quote to have on here. There's also a little stylized apple again, of course, the... Uh, idea being that you give your teacher an apple. And here is a little book, right? So we have everything. We have a book, we have a pen, we have everything on there. Oh, uh, made in Italy. Yeah, Monte Grappa, made in Italy. Pen opens up, you unscrew it, and you have a section, which is, I find it really pretty pleasant. It's a bit longer, which I appreciate. Fits my fingers very nicely. These threads are not sharp, so that really works well. Uh, the pen, if you want to, does post. becomes quite long, but you can post it. It's all plastic, so it's not very heavy. pen is fed through cartridge or converter. Converter is supplied and is labeled Monte Grappa. And there we have the nib. And the nib is a steel Monte Grappa nib. This is a fine. It says Monte Grappa and Italia. And has that... I don't really know what to call that. It's not really a honeycomb. It's it's just a diamonds, I guess, that, that Monte Grappa does, and a plastic feed. Okay, anything I missed? I don't think so. So let's do some writing. Oh, sorry. 
Sorry about that. Let me zoom out. The Monte Grappa tea tree pen. It's a fine steel nib and it is Waterman uh, Serenity Blue. The thing that struck me about this pen is I find it comfortable, I find it nice to hold. The nib is very fine. I think I would be inclined to classify this as an extra fine nib more so than a fine nib. Now, of course, there are no universal standards for this. So if Montegrappa calls this a fine, then in their lineup, this is a fine. Um, it is also known that I am not a huge fan of fine nibs, but that's a personal preference, so I don't let that affect my, my judgment. What I will say is, I find this nib very feedbacky, to the point of actually being scratchy. And that is not, not very nice. Um, but it does write. I have had experiences with Montegrappa in the past that were a little less positive. So, great, it writes. It just writes very, very finely. And I think you also hear, the camera microphone is quite sensitive to the scratch. So often nibs, sounds, nibs sound scratchier than they truly are. But this one really is very, very feedbacky. However, it writes. It doesn't skip, it doesn't hard start, so that's the plus side to having a somewhat feedbacky nib, I think. As to its wetness, it's good, properly tuned. Line variation, this nib is a nail. I, uh, I would not attempt to add a bit of character to your writing by pressing down on that a little bit, which is dubious anyway, but I hope you know what I mean. Reverse writing, now, it's already very fine to begin with. No, it gets scratchy and it kind of digs into the paper, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that, plus you don't gain much. It's still a very fine line. Okay, so, the Montegrappa teacher. Let me teach you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Hashtag horrid segues. I'm biased. I like teachers because I am one. But here's the way I look at things. The entire future of the human race is in the hands of our children. If we have bad education, we are educating children badly, then our future is doomed. So I think it's a great idea to honor teachers at all levels. Primary school, all the way to post-secondary. I think it's a great idea. And I definitely applaud that. So the idea of this pen I really like. I also like that this is a user pen. This is not filled with useless accoutrement. This is not super heavy. This is a pen you can pick up and use. It's nice, it's light, it functions exactly the way I think it should be. These are things I like. What do I not like so much? I'm not sure about this green. I know, I think, I know what they were going for. You have these somewhat old-fashioned blackboards that are actually not black, but that have that green color. I think that that's what they were going for, but in my mind, this is not exactly that color. Well, that's just me. The fine nib that's on it, in my mind, truly is an extra fine nib. Now that's always difficult because different companies have different standards, so you, you have to be a little careful with that, but it really is very fine. And it has a lot of feedback. So in that regard, uh, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I, I'm not a huge fan of this nib, but what I will say is that it writes. And that's fantastic because, again, I have had Montegrappa pens in the past that did not write or that were so dry that they were unusable. That doesn't apply to this pen. If that means that those problems are behind us, I'm very happy with that. That's fantastic. Final thing I don't like. Given what this pen is, I find it quite pricey. Uh, the price is 219 euros. That's without VAT. With the 21% VAT, it's 265 euros. 
plastic pen steel nib cartridge converter. Not limited, nothing fancy about it. Shape was based on old school pen, that's nice. Uh, there is nice detail. The, the, the quote from Malala, that's, that's really nice. So, I mean, I'm not saying that there is no detail on it or that it's, you know, that, that's, that's not what I'm saying. But I find it pricey for what this is. At, at 265 euros, I would start to definitely expect a gold nib at least. And that's not there. So I don't see what makes what warrants that price in this pen, given that it's just a plastic pen. It's it's again no piston, no moving parts, no that. I don't really see that price in it. But that's just me. The idea, I love. The execution, I personally have some some I don't really want to say issues with because it's a founded pen. Who really cares? It's not my favorite. Uh, the way it was done in some ways. But again, it's a cause I definitely approve of. Yoast, thank you for lending me this pen. I appreciate it. I hope this was useful, and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.